What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? It is Jason Jani. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the RCF TT 515A along with the RCF TT 808AS sub. Now, this is a newly released speaker combo from the team at RCF, and they initially teased this speaker system a little over a year ago at a number of expos, conventions, and meetups within the music world because these speakers boast some incredible specs and are super small. They are super compact. These speakers fall in the TT series of speakers from RCF, and that line itself, the TT line, is the highest quality speaker cabinets and loudspeakers that RCF has in their arsenal. The TT series boasts the best components and the best quality speakers in the overall portfolio. My team and I at SE have been able to use the 515 and 808s a number of times since I've actually got them right as they were released from RCF. I was fortunate enough to get one of the first sets of speakers that were released by RCF. I actually drove to their headquarters and picked them up myself. Quite candidly, I am a huge supporter of RCF because I love their components, I love their sound, and their headquarters is located approximately 45 minutes from my house. I'm an advocate for them and I'm also a dealer. This review and the things that I'm gonna share with you are very honest and direct as I'm not getting paid in any way, shape or form for my info on this speaker system. Since I've shared and since we at SCE have shared a number of videos of us using them, we have been hit up nonstop by people that either have them on order or are considering buying them for their sound systems. So I thought I'd record a little bit more of a detailed video talking about some of the specs and talking about and sharing my firsthand experience using these boxes at real deal events. So I'm gonna start with the details of the 515, then we're gonna cover the details of the 808, and then I'm gonna share with you my real deal honest feedback on using them now a number of times at a number of real deal weddings and events. I'm not gonna go into every spec of the speakers. I'm gonna give you kind of the key features of each speaker, and I'm gonna share with you why I think this is relevant and how it can be used in the real world scenario for private event DJs, as well as sound professionals in the event industry. To read off some key features, first and foremost, these are made for portable sound reinforcement. They boast 2000 watt peak class D amplifiers, and there actually is two of them in each one of those little boxes. The 515 has two 1000 watt class D amplifiers totaling 2000 watts in that little box. There are two five inch woofers and a two inch voice coil. The speakers are capable of RD net as well as they're powered by XLR. On the back of the unit itself, they have volume, high pass, crossover, and limiting capabilities. They are really meant for small to mid-sized touring, theater, or events. They also are capable of hitting a 127 dB max SPL, which is incredibly loud considering the speaker is like literally this big. They have an onboard DSP and they also have processing with the RCF fur phase technology. Now that right there is the RCF TT 515A specs. Those are the tops that you see. And now we're gonna talk about the RCF TT 808AS subs that were made to pair with the 515A tops by RCF. These are powerful little boxes and they were made for live club and event applications. They are super portable and they don't even weigh a lot. In total, there are two 1000 watt class D amplifiers in this box. So it is capable of delivering 2000 total watts of sub power to your events. The frequency response on the subs is 40 hertz to 40,000 hertz. The subs and the tops are both capable of RDNet, meaning like you can link them all up using the RDNet software control. And doing that, you'll need some additional components. And I'm gonna do another video on RDNet in the future, explaining what it is, how it works. And I'm gonna share with you how we use it at SCE. The subs also have switch mode power supply and they have two eight inch 
woofers that work in unison with a two and a half inch voice coil. The subs are capable of delivering 129 dB with their max SPL. The connections for this box are both PowerCon and XLR. That's how you get the signal in and through the boxes to one another. And these boxes, as well as the 515 tops I forgot to mention, have multiple rigging points on them so they can be used in a number of different scenarios and situations. And I think that was the goal for RCF, not just to make an incredibly powerful, mighty little system with these boxes, just to provide superior sound in a small footprint that can be used in a number of different situations. So if you are a club owner or a venue owner and you're looking for little boxes that you can hide and kind of situate in your space without taking up a lot of space and footprint, these are an incredible solution for you because they are made with the best components from RCF and they have a lot of different rigging points on the boxes which allow you to use them in a lot of interesting and unique places. Most private event DJs are going to use them floor mounted, meaning the sub is going to be either standing straight up or on its side and you can stack multiple subs if you'd like and then you're going to use a pull mount system to mount the 515 on top. One thing that I have to mention here is if you're planning on using these in a vertical event situation, you're a DJ using that at events, you're probably going to use them floor mounted and you're probably going to put them either on their sides or standing straight up. When you send them straight up, they actually have feet that come out of the back that keep them nice and secure. If the floor shakes and believe me, I've already had that happen to me and I was like, holy cow, these things really do hold up. Now on the sub, there are pull mounts on the sides as well as the top of the box. And in order for you to use a pull mount system with the 515, a tops, you actually have to use another component that is screwed into the box because the pole mounts actually are external to the box, meaning they're not in the box. The entire box is used for the amplification as well as for the drivers and speakers and cabling and all the things themselves. There's actually a pole mount base that needs to be screwed onto this box, and then you actually have to place the box with the pole mount onto your pole that sits in the sub. It's not a big thing, but it's just something to be mindful of. It's another step in the setup process, and I think most people can get over that. I know it's not really a big deal. And I'm super dialed into efficiency and working very fast on our setups and our breakdowns. I'm going to get into dollars and cents at the end of this video. I am completely blown away with the one quality of the sound and the amount of the sound that comes out of these boxes. This total system is insane, and the five 515 A tops are incredibly impressive. They are loud, they are bright, and the sound quality is really, really, really impressive. I also like the fact that the tops have a 100 by 70 degree dispersion pattern, meaning the sound comes out and covers a wide area. And these speakers have the ability of throwing significantly far. You have to keep in mind, these tops only have five inch woofers in them and they are insanely impressive. I've used them in a number of different scenarios. I've used them for fill because I think they are an incredible speaker for fill, backfill in a room. I used them at the Borgata in Atlantic City where I did a large corporate event where we had just about 1,000 people, and we put them in the back corners of the room, and we were actually able to time delay our signal to them, and they provided insane amounts of fill, quality fill, at that event. I've also used them as my main front-facing sound system at a couple of weddings, a small wedding for one and a larger wedding for another. The larger wedding actually had just about 200 people in it, and I hate when DJs and event professionals scale their sound systems based on the number of people that are in a room. That's really not the way to do it. Your sound system really needs to be scaled on the size and the parameters of the room, what the characteristics are of the room, and how you are using sound and what sound is needed to deliver the experience Experience that you have promised and sold to the people that have hired you. That's a whole nother story. And I think I even have a video or two about it on the channel. I'm going to tap over here. If you want to check that out, be sure to check it out at the end of this video. For these events, I was incredibly impressed with how these speakers were able to hang and provide complete and full sound for these events. Now, in the Northeast, our style of play is a little bit different than a lot of other places in the country, and our venues are very vast, meaning there's a lot of different options, a lot of different characteristics, and a lot of different types of scenarios for how we need to deliver sound at our events. I was totally able to deliver an impressive sound presentation for the space, and as a matter of fact, I even got a number of compliments from guests 
from attendees of this event saying how they were so impressed with how it sounded. I was quite blown away because they have no idea what I'm using and what these speakers truly are in our industry. I love the sound that comes out from a wood cabinet and these speakers are made out of a birch design and they are incredibly well built. Now, if you're watching this in search of some criticism, I will give you my shortfalls on the speaker as well. The DSP on the back, although it is complete and it sounds incredible, it is limited in terms of what you can do. There's only two real buttons that you can select and the dial is limited. You actually are instructed to use these speakers with them all the way up and the RCF team has advised me to use them until I tap red and not to have it hold consistent red because when you hold it consistent red, that's when the compressor engages. I can tell you that I did a wedding with about 190 people in it and we were tapping red at certain points, especially when I was getting on the microphone, especially when things were getting really loud and really hyped, but we never actually got into a constant red scenario and I was playing as loud as I think I needed to for that event. That's a good thing. The issue I think with these speakers, and it's hard to compare these speakers to much larger speakers that are on the market, especially if you're an RCF user, my other system that I use is the TTW 4A paired with TT18 AS2 subs, and that is a monster system. And it's hard to compare these to that because the voice coil on this system is only two inches. Why I think that matters is because the two inch voice coil is really the difference of when you're on the microphone and you're playing at full blast, the voice sitting on top of the music as opposed to being buried in it. So what I did find with these speakers is when we were going full throttle and when the dance floor was packed, as I was getting on the mic and saying a few words, I had to dip the volume a little bit. And that is something that I think I just noticed in terms of what I needed to do to, to get the sound out the way it needed to be out so everyone could clearly hear what I was saying. And that right there is something that has to be done with a lot of other larger systems on the market today. And I think a lot of DJs understand that and are used to doing that with the sound systems they own. The difference between that and let's just say the W4A system, which is a totally different level TT RCF speaker, is I can be as loud as I possibly want. I can get on that microphone and the four inch voice coil in that system just cuts right through the music and sits on top of it. So it's a little bit different. Do I think, and would I recommend this sound system to anyone? The answer is 100% yes. If you are in the market for a powerful and compact sound solution for your events, for your business, and for the things that you do within your world, I think this system is insane. I love the TT series of speakers for a number of different reasons. And I think the biggest thing to me is the quality of the sound that comes out of these boxes. I think the sound is insane. I think you can hear multiple frequency ranges that are sometimes lacking in a lot of the other competitor speakers that are on the market. Now, there's great speakers from every company out on the market, and I'm just specifically talking about the RCF. There is not a compact solution that I know of that can even come close to the volume, the clarity, the quality, and of course, the durability of these speakers. These were made with intention. They were made incredibly well, and they possess quality components, giving you a quality sound, a loud quality sound, and that is awesome. I have gotten some rumblings from other friends that have used these speakers that say they would like a little bit more on the bottom end in terms of sub volume and whatnot. I didn't feel that I needed additional subs when I used them, but I did actually acquire a second set of 808 AS subs that I will be pairing with them in the future at another larger event in the upcoming weeks on my calendar. I will be sure to share with you my feedback about how it went when I used two sets of subs for each one top. So in total, I'll have six total boxes. Now, from an investment perspective, I wanna break this down for you so you understand what is needed to get these boxes. And the prices for the 515 and the 808s are pretty straightforward. In addition to the boxes themselves, you are gonna need the pole mount adapter for the 515 tops. You are gonna need a quality pole mount that is 
capable of screwing into the 808 sub. You're also going to need bags or cases for these speakers. And I found some incredibly cool jumpers that are 10 foot that include power con and signal all in one cape that are wrapped with a solid rubber that really clean up the look. So to break down dollars and cents, the TT515A speaker tops have an MSRP of $1,800 and 808 AS subs have a MSRP of $2,399. Bags are going to run you approximately $125 each. You're going to need four of them. The pole mount connectors are going to run you another 50 bucks. So it gives you an idea of where the total investment is for this speaker. So the pros on this speaker is the sound quality, the build quality, the size, the port ability, and the ability to scale these speakers if needed. I think there are a ton of events and scenarios that these are the perfect speakers for AV events, corporate events, fill events, smaller to mid-size front-facing sound events, and more. The cons would be maybe the limitations on the DSP in terms of the actual control, unless you're using RDNet. Most people are not using RDNet, so your control is going to be somewhat limited in terms of what you can do and what you can alter with the speakers without that level of control. And the other shortfall would be the size of the voice coil in the top box. I understand why they used it. I understand how it sounds and I think it gets the job done. I am incredibly happy with these speakers. And as a matter of fact, I have ordered another two sets of these speakers for my own personal performance events. So I have them for other scenarios that I think they could be the perfect solution for. Now I'm gonna go on record and give you my honest thoughts. Are they worth it? I believe so, especially if you're looking for a small, compact, loud solution of quality sound for your events. There are a ton of applications that these could be the perfect, perfect speaker solution for, and I have use for them within my world and my events at the SE Event Group and for what I do. Now, will they be my only main system? No, because we do a lot of larger events that these are not capable of delivering proper sound to, but they do make for incredible solutions for smaller events, mid-size events, and for some fill applications for the events that I personally am a part of. I've gotten hit up by a lot of people. How do they compare to the Evox? How do they compare to the J-Mix? How do they compare to the J8s, the Evox 12, the Evox 8, the Bose, the EV Evolve system, and some of the other small portable array style systems that are on the market? I'll be honest with you, there's not another small compact portable sound system on the market that can compete with these in terms of sound quality, in terms of levels, in terms of capabilities, and in terms of build quality. I love the Birch boxes. I feel that they are completely solid. I love the sound out of these boxes. Do they compare with any one of them? I think they blow them all out of the water, including the RCF Evox 12 system, which is the closest from a specs perspective to these boxes. In order to buy these boxes, you have to invest quite a bit of money and there are some small shortfalls, the DSP and the small voice coil, but these boxes can satisfy events for probably 90 plus percent of the DJs that work in private events and wedding events. I am completely happy with these speakers. I've invested in two more pairs of these speakers that are now on order and I'll be waiting for from the team at RCF. If you're on the fence, I would consider maybe reaching out to someone that has them or wait until you can see them in person, they are incredibly impressive. And if you were asking me, if I were you, would I invest in them or something else? It really depends on how you are using these speakers, your events in total, and how much money you have to throw at your sound system. Will these replace everything in my arsenal moving forward? No, but these are what I will use at my small to medium size events, as well as for sound fill and for other applications within the event portfolio with in my personal performance universe of events. I absolutely love these speakers and I think they have an incredibly cool place within our industry. I love the sound, I love the tone, I love the volume, and I love what they are capable of. I am incredibly happy with these speakers and will be using them for the future at my events. So if you have any questions about these speakers, I'd love to invite you to drop into the comments underneath this video, share them there. I'll do my best to answer anything and everything I can regarding these speakers. And if I can't answer them, I'll just reach out to the crew at RCF to see if I can get you some answers about these speakers. If you are now on the fence or thinking about investing in this speaker system, please reach out to me privately at Jason Janai on Instagram, and I'll either be sure to help you out, find a local distributor 
distributor or retailer within your area or personally be able to help you out because I am a dealer for these speakers. I'd love to help you out as long as I can do it for these speakers and for anything in the future. So that's it, the RCF TT515A and RCF TT808AS sub system is just an incredible system. I hope this helped you in your quest to find the proper sound for your upcoming events. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite you to support me in this channel with some sub love down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel or haven't yet, join me with a subscription here to this channel on YouTube. I'd love to invite you to drop down below, smash the subscribe button, and be on the lookout for more videos in the future right here on this channel. For now, if you have questions, throw it in the comments down below and be on the lookout for more videos just like this in the future right here on this channel. My name is Jason Chenai and I appreciate you sticking with me to the very end of this video.